it's pretty noisy in here, so I don't even know if you can hear this. I'm taking it on my uh, cell phone, and the cell phone picks up uh, the background noise with the, the microphone that it has. So, uh, hi. Just had to stop for a minute for a customer and make a sale. That was good. Anyway, all I want to say is that I'm exhausted. I worked all night and I made a ton of stuff. Bread and buns and hot, uh, hot cross buns. And the market's been good so far, but uh, I can hardly stand. I only got one hour sleep in this market. It's opened at 10 and it goes till 7 o'clock this evening. So uh, I'll be crawling home. Anyhow, nice talking to you guys. Hope you're uh, enjoying my videos. And the little girl put this, puts this on her doorknob, and then she puts her little tooth in there, and then the tooth fairy knows exactly where the tooth is. Oh, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> uh, here's Denise, who uh, is selling here uh, today, and she has uh, baby blankets and other articles. Yeah. So, Denise. Uh, uh, my theme today is a little bit on carnivals. Is there a festival uh, around here or anywhere that you have been to that you really enjoy? I, I really enjoy going to the uh, Kelowna Farmers Market on Saturdays and sometimes on Wednesdays. I work uh, full time so I can't go on Wednesdays most of the time. But I'm also coming uh, at the Creative Chaos in Vernon. So oh yeah, that's a big one. That's about three days long, isn't it? It is three days, and it's in the beginning of June, the first weekend in June. I think it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, of the business here is Baby... Baby Dog, ba meaning Baby, Golden Baby. Uh, it's baby blankets and things. I don't only make baby blankets. I also make adult blankets for teens, tweens. My blankets are mainly made out of um, chenille, and it's beautiful colors. And because I make them at home, I... Um, I can make whatever color they want. If they want green and blue together, I make green and blue together. Oh. This one is also beautiful. It's an apple green or lettuce, they call it, and it's very tactile for babies and adults. They love to feel it. This is my friend Claudia. She's being camera shy, but uh, we won't post this and she said, unless she says we can. <laughs> So Claudia is giving me a break so I can uh, do whatever I have to do here at the market. She's been doing that for quite some time. She and her husband Bernie uh, are also vendors. And uh, they're going to be out and around doing all the markets around this summer. They're not going to stick to just one market. They're going to travel around in their motorhome. Well, look at that. I'm She's a loaf of fruit bread. <laughs> She's making money for me. Isn't that wonderful? So, uh, what are you guys planning over the summer? Traveling. Travel. Well, that sounds good. You got the motor home. Uh, what's the farthest the field you go? Uh, well, that'll depend on where the motor home decides to take us. Ah, uh, isn't that a wonderful thought? <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> So, so this is my friend Bernie, and Bernie, I'm taking this for my reality show, and uh, I was talking to Claudia, she says you're going to be doing a lot of traveling this summer. Yes. You're, uh, how far afield do you expect to go? Oh, anywhere between 100 to 500 kilometers away from Simon. So here's uh, La Boutique Brazil, which is, um, what would you say, environmentally friendly. Jury, that's and, correct. And here's Marcia. Hello there. <laughs> and she's from Brazil. That's correct. And uh, she was telling me about the Carnival and then she moved to Canada and uh, she lives in a town where there's lots of festivals now. I just wonder, uh, how do you find the, fest the Carnival atmosphere in Penticton? Oh, I like it very much, especially in the summer where we have all kinds of festivals. We we have Elvis Festival, we have Peach Festival, and uh, I like it very much. Uh, in comparison to Brazil, it's a little bit different. Uh, our carnival is something very major there, and it goes uh, through the whole country. It's three, almost four days party, where everybody has different costumes, but it's very nice, it's very fun. It depends if you like it or not, but I do. 
This is, <laughs> this is Kate, uh, and she's uh, here participating today. So, uh, what are your plans for the summer? Ooh, well, lots of crafting, pretty much. Farmers market, craft sales, grand chaos. Wow. How far afield do you go? Just Vernon, or do you? Oh, in the Okanagan, really. If the mood strikes me. Uh huh. So you're a freezer bird. I am. Hey, well, that's wonderful. Hi. So what's your name? My name is Julia. Julia. So uh, where do you come from, Julia? I'm from Jamaica. So in Jamaica, are there any uh, important carnivals? Yes, they do have carnival, but I don't really follow those things. What about here in Canada? Do you do you go to any festivals here? Like in Penticton, there's lots of festivals. No. I've never. It's just recently I started going out. Oh, is that but right? But I only go to karaoke. To karaoke? Oh, yeah. so do you sing? Well, I try my best. What sort of music do you sing? I like um, gospel, souls, and reggae. Well, it's uh, midnight and I'm uh, working on editing this film and I realized that somewhere in this uh, process of downloading I've lost yeah, one of the clips and it was the lady who sells the tutus she was a most interesting clip one that I really wanted to get in the video but it's disappeared so I have to give my apologies to Celia who cooperated so nicely with me and uh, I'll try to get her into a future video uh, in the meantime uh, I'd like to say good night to you all and I hope you have a happy day tomorrow see ya well, I asked uh, Sharon if she wanted to do the click on subscribe thing, but she's all comfy and cozy in her jammies in front of the TV, and she's just not going to do it. So you have to put up with me. So if you want to keep up with Fred and Sharon's reality show, click on subscribe. And don't forget to leave your comments below. This is a comment from Veropsicle. I love Sharon's glasses and her hair. As she is a hairdresser, would I be able to get a similar color out of a box or is it only available to hairdressers? Well, I would tell you, Veropsicle, that this color is a natural color from the, the health food store. And it's a 7RL medium bright copper and it's tints of nature. And this is the color here. This comment is also from Veropsicle. I'd also like her opinion on how long I could make it last and seems like when I have gone with red tones they have faded very fast. Thank, thanks Fred and Sharon. P.S. You should have Sharon do tutorials and give us hair facts. Yes, well, um, uh, red does fade quite fast, but this color lasts quite a while. It's a number of weeks. Um, use um, a shampoo that is for colored hair, color treated hair. That's the, f the fact that I can give you. And uh, we may decide to do tutorials, but we'll think about it. Thank you, Ropsicle. For your comments. I was a hairdresser for a number of years but I haven't been a hairdresser for quite a while. I was a counselor after that. If you'd like to keep up with Fred and Sharon's reality show please click on subscribe and if you want to comment on Fred and Sharon's reality show please comment down below. Save her obstacle. Sharon told me the other day she might go back to blonde. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> He's just teasing. <laughs> we loved your comment. Well, what did you want me to say? Oh, yeah. I want you to see. If you want to find our videos, Google 
Fred and Sharon's reality show and you have to type it in exactly or you might go to the wrong show. You've already said it. No. <laughs> well it's a rainy morning. Hello. Hello. Okay, I was expecting uh, Teresa and these two. Hope it's not raining on Wednesday when I have an outdoor market. <laughs>